So once you say AKI, right, and you've defined pre-renal versus intra-renal and post-renal, what's your next big question? Why did that happen? So if you say that somebody's got pre-renal, let's now open up the possible causes that can cause a pre-renal AKI. Anything that causes volume depletion, right? Maybe you got diarrhea, you're throwing up, you're dehydrated because you've been out in the heat or you lost blood, whatever the causes dehydration can do it, right? Okay, what else can cause pre -renal? We said if somebody's got congestive heart failure because your pump is not pushing blood to the kidney, even though you're fluid overloaded, you will have AKI, right? So that's why liver cirrhosis don't always say, hey, patients got AKI. We always have this mindset that AKI is always pre-renal and it is always due to volume depletion, but it's not true. The volume status could be fine or you could also be hypervolumic, like in a patient with CHF or liver cirrhosis, but you can still end up with renal failure because you can have fluid all over the space, but if it's not within the blood vessel, you have a problem. What else can cause pre-renal AKI? What about nephrotic syndrome? Could nephrotic syndrome cause a pre-renal AKI? Typically speaking, a nephrotic syndrome ideally would cause a intra-renal AKI. 